Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to install Veritas Volume Manager, also called VXVM. The version here I am using for Veritas Volume Manager is 6.2 and will show you how to install it on RHL 6. For this, we have to first download the Veritas Tourist Foundation package from Veritas website. For this, you have to first log in on the website and from there you can download the trial version. Now, the Veritas Stories Foundation is changed with name Veritas InfoScale Enterprise. So when you, when you download this software, then search for Veritas InfoScale Enterprise. Previously, it come with name Veritas Stories Foundation. This uh, Veritas Tourist Foundation is the main package. It combines Veritas Volume Manager and Veritas File System to provide online storage management. The Veritas Tourist Foundation is having different versions. The Veritas Tourist Foundation 5.1 is introduced in, uh, an, in December 2009 and then the Veritas Tourist Foundation 6 is introduced in 2011 and finally this Veritas Info Scale Enterprise introduced in uh, 2015. So here the version I am using is Storage Foundation 6.2. I already downloaded this package on my server. This is the package. So either you can use this Veritas Storage Foundation 6.2 or you can download the latest one, the Veritas InfoScale Enterprise 7 version. And once you download this package, just untar and unzip this package. I already did this here. So this is the uh, untar package. And under, under this folder, you can find two different folders. This one is for RHL 6 and this one is for RHL 7. Suppose if you are installing this package on RHL 6, then you have to use this one. And if you are installing this uh, Storage Foundation 6.2 package on RHL 7, then you have to use this one. All right. Before this, you have to make some entries like in etc host file so this is my server name node 1 and this is the ip so you have to map this ip with your server name and once you did this then just browse the folder and here you can find the installer script here so just run this installer script here All right, so this is the menu come while you're installing this package. So the first option is to perform a pre-installation check. So you can do the pre-installation check before installing. And but before this, I'll do one thing. I'll I'll run this view product requirements. So it will show you what are the requirement to install this product on RHL 6. So I just press R and hit enter. And here I am installing the Semantic Storage Foundation, the, the step 3. So just hit enter and it will show you the required package for this Storage Foundation. So here I am using the version RHL 6.4. So these are the required RPMs which should be installed on your system before uh, installing the Storage Foundation product. So you have to install this, uh, this RPM packages. So I'm installing this uh, packages. Screen. 
create a duplicate session here. So once you install all the required packages on your server, then we'll just hit enter and press B for back. And now I know that I already uh, installed the required uh, RPMs on this uh, server. So I'll perform the pre-installation check on this server. So I'll just press B and hit enter and select number three storage foundation and hit enter now I'll, it will ask you the system name so my system is node one so just i'm pressing enter here now it's doing the pre-check on the server All right, so the pre-check report is completed and it's saying that no issue found in pre-check. So would you like to install storage foundation on node one? Press yes and hit enter. And now it's asked for the uh, license agreement. Just accept this agreement and press enter. And here, I'll select install all, all RPMs. Either you can use, uh, select two, the recommended RPM, or you can select number three. So I'm here I'm selecting number three. Install all RPMs and press enter. So it will show you that the following uh, storage foundation RPM will be installed on this one, on this node one. Okay, press enter. Now it will install one by one all packages on this server so for the time being i'm just pausing this video so as you can see the all packages are installed here so the next step is it's asking uh, would you like to uh, like to license the system right now i'm using the trial version so i'm uh, choose the option to the ena uh, enable keyless licensing press enter and here you have to select SF storage foundation enterprise so just select two and enter would you like to enable replication uh, no press enter Now, right now, this is uh, it's configuring the storage foundation. Right, so now our VXVM is successfully installed and configured. Now it's asking you, would you like to view the summary file? Just accept the default one, enter, and now the VXVM is ready on our system. The next thing is now to run VXVM command directly on Bash shell. We need to edit the bash profile and add the following path. So just open 
dot batch profile file here and and here just enter these paths okay so now after entering these path we are able to run all vxvm command directly on the bash shell now if i try to run any command here suppose vx disk list as you can see i am able to run the vxvm command directly on the bash shell so that's all in this video thanks for watching this video if you like this video then please like and subscribe my channel again thanks for watching and see you next time